So I was playing around with some plugs and just looking at stuff and making sure that everything's connected properly and lo and behold, I'm putting the Dynatec back on. Never got a video out this week, sorry. Been too busy moving my mom and doing stuff and still carbs are still out. Chris was sick last week, so not sure when those gonna go back in. I did get the new ignition. So there's the, the new ignition switch. And uh, comes with two keys, which is good because I only had one on the other one. It's just a it's just a plug and play, so basically I just have to unplug the old one there, put the new one in, and then Chris has got to put the uh, the carbs back in, and then it better run because if it doesn't, I give up. It's uh, first nice day that we've had since that month of winter after the last nice day we had, so the snow is finally starting to go. I got the uh, the boat out where I'm going to work on it, so that'll be taking up my time. And uh, this thing will be put to the sideline if it doesn't work. I mean, what do you what do you do? I got to call it quits sometime on this thing. It's just so much money and so many hours, and that's just crazy. This is the most pathetic machine I've ever seen. So hope you guys understand. If we get this thing going, there'll be uh, lots of rides coming up. There's lots of poker rides, a bunch of trail rides, exploring, and stuff like that. So there should be something. I don't, I don't know what the deal is with this thing. The only other thing I could think is, is the choke line. Maybe it's sticking a little bit too much, but it's like 180 bucks, and. I <laughs> I give up. I don't know. Let's see what we can do. I'll try and see if this one loosens up or if that's just the way it is or or what the deal is. So Chris said there was nothing wrong with the carb. Well, I guess if the carb works, everything else should work. I'll take one more look at the airlines, make sure they're not cracked. And the fuel lines were pretty much all changed. So what are you going to do? So oh, I was no. playing around with some plugs and just looking at stuff and making sure that everything's connected properly and lo and behold, I'm putting the Dynatec back on and check out that right there. That little orange wire is not on there very well and it pulled out of little connector that somebody had put on there before so I'm not sure and that doesn't seem very well there either so we got to go through this plug this harness fun 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 so that could be a problem that does go to the, the CDI box, so we got to check all those wires. Somebody's really played with this stuff, as normal, as the whole damn machine. Really beginning to hate this machine. Oh, wait a minute. I already hate it. Beginning. <laughs> so, as I wait for Chris, I'll pull that little plug over over here more and I can get at it and, and cut back some here and check out those wires might have to add some wires I don't know almost almost feel like getting a new harness and putting it in but I don't know almost almost 
That's like horseshoes. Close only counts in horseshoes and hand grenades. Okay. Just a little update. All right, so both ends of that wire, or that joint, were broken. So I had to splice a piece of wire in the middle here. So I had to do a joint there and a joint there. And I put some shrink wrap on it. Hopefully the rest of the wire isn't too brittle. Like this is getting crazy. So I'm just going to have to have to tape all this up so it doesn't move too much and get any more corrosion going on in there. What a pain, man. Alright, there's the two ignition switches. This is the one that was in there that uh, had a dead spot apparently. And this is the new one. So we'll see just exactly. And that just plugs into there and that's it. Alright, new ignition switch is in. Plugged in. Turn it on. We have power. Well, that's a good sign. Just have to wait till Chris gets here with the uh, carburetor. All right, everybody. Uh, thanks for sticking in there. Hopefully, there'll be a ride soon. If not, you'll just have to revert to my other channel, Outdoor Rob. That's where I'm going to be doing some diving and boating and stuff, and some adventures on that. So, all right. Take care.